In a previous video, I gave you some jazz basics. I spoke about how you draw a circle, whether it's imaginary or with a marker on your symbol, and you try to play the swing groove, making sure that you subdivide the notes, 1E, a 2E, a 3E, a 4E, a 1E, a 2E, a 3. And then I said you keep the hat on 2 and 4. You always keep your hat on 2 and 4 when it's in 4-4. Four, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, I'm going to go a little bit more in depth and show you more on an intermediate level a couple ideas. So again, one, two, three, four. One E, a two E, a three E, a four E, a one. And then up to speed. Okay. The bass drum is ghosted. It's supposed to be felt, not heard, as I spoke before. And the snare is also ghosted. So it's played real light because it's not like rock and roll where it's where you want to just smack the stew out of you want that snare to crack it's nothing like that so you want to keep it real subtle and then in jazz especially if you're in a big band or you want to drop a bomb or something that's when you hit hard so if you want to go bottle 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 one two three four one two three four Jazz, specifically swing, is full of dynamics and it's very important. The feel will come by just subdividing the notes and then it becomes part of you and that will start to really, really, really become part of your inner metronome, part of your inner feel. And then once it feels good for you, it's going to feel good for all of the other members. Okay, what we were doing is we were playing the bass drum on all fours and then the snare drum on the other two partials. And we're in triplets, so one E, a two E, a three E, a four E, a When you're playing, make sure that you force yourself to relax. I kind of go back to what Steve Gadd said. When your body wants to push, you have to relax, breathe, and make it feel right. Feel the pulse while you're playing. And if you do, then everyone else will. All right, now we're going to reverse it. Still playing triplets. One E, a two E, a three E, a four E, a one. Up to speed. So practice it slow though. Playing it fast is really cool, but you don't always do that fast. Uh, it's really, really nice to play it when you play it slow. Elvin Jones was a master at playing slow and, and keeping it really feeling great and, and dropping bombs at the right spot. Okay, so I'm gonna keep it here. I'm gonna leave this as an intermediate lesson. I'll follow with a more advanced lesson shortly. All right, hope you got a lot out of this lesson. As usual, like, subscribe, ring the bell, comment if you like this. And I hope, again, I hope you got a lot out of this. I see you in the next video.